painting just got a lot easier. I tackled this reference, which I have been putting off for a long time, but I've been wanting to do it, but it's been intimidating until now. With this new tool that I'm gonna share with you today, you can mix your colors perfectly every time and not waste paint because you'll know the ratio to paint them in. You'll know how much water to add to get the right value. You'll know how to simplify your painting and so, so much more. This isn't just for watercolor. It is for oil, colored pencil, watercolor pencil, acrylic, and watercolor. You can put in the colors that you want to use to mix your colors and it will give you not one, not two, but sometimes even three different ways to get to the same color. And it's also the sponsor of today's video. So thank you so much. My very first sponsor, it's very exciting for me, Artist Assist app. It also acts like an app, but it's more like a website because you don't have to download it, which I hate that. I hate having too many apps on my phone and they all clog up my phone and my phone slows down. You don't have to download another app to clog up your phone. You can use it like a website on your phone. So let me show you how to do that. All right, here we are on my Apple iPhone and I'm gonna to go to Safari. So you see this little compass that's on every iPhone. That is what's called a browser. All right, so here is a blank browser page. So you can go to search down here and you can put artist assist app and then hit go and then you'll come to um, all the options an artist assist app for me came up on the top of the results so i'm going to hit that all right real quick here's how you do it on a droid here's my droid you just go to google search and i'm typing into just a google search artist assist app i'm just putting in the website name and then it takes me straight to it. And here we are at the Start Now screen. All right. So then the first thing you do is you go to Start Now. And then you can go to Help, Quick Start Guide, or you can go ahead and start by um, choosing what medium you use, watercolor paint, oil paint, acrylic, colored pencil, watercolor pencil. I'm gonna choose watercolor paint. And then it has remembered what I have put in already. So then you just go through the process of adding the brands of watercolor paint you use and the colors you use and which colors you want to use to mix your colors. And then it will do the rest of the work for you. Now I will tell you, I played around with this app a lot and one of my paint colors is black, but I don't wanna use black to mix my shadows personally. That's just an artistic choice I make. So when I was going to learn how to mix my colors, I left black out. I didn't want the app to use black to mix my shadow colors, so I left that out. And I also would say, just put in your favorite paint colors because that's another cool thing that this app does, is it helps you paint with a limited palette. Technical stuff aside, let's look at some of the really cool things that it can do. So this is the photograph that I wanted to work with, this girl swimming underwater, but I was a little, well, a lot intimidated because one, there's a lot of values going on and values, especially for my beginners, you might not realize this, but values are way more important than color. And so there's a lot of different values in here that need to be balanced out. So how do you do that? Also, the pool and the light of coming through the pool water and reflecting off this girl's skin is making parts of her skin, parts of her face glow kind of this blue green, but also has skin tone underneath it. And it's hard to wrap your head around, what color is that? How do I even paint that? Um, what, how do how would I even mix that color? What is that even a color that we have a name for? No, it's not. <laughs> it's girl swimming underwater in a blue pool uh, shadow on skin tone color. I don't know what that is. So 
that's another thing that you can do with this app. Let's take a look and let me explain how this works in the app. Let's take a look. This is the one. All right, so I think the hardest colors for me to figure out how to mix are definitely these shadows. And the way that I mix colors is for a painting that's very subtle like this, I'll use many, many thin layers of glazes. So I'll mix my colors in that way, but it still helps me to see what the app is saying to use. And this is also a nice thing about this app is it gives you different options for these green shadows in the side of her face that are so odd looking. It's like this dark gray green color. Like how do you even come up with that? So it gives us several options. You can use permanent green light and even better, it tells us what ratio to use these colors in so you don't waste paint when you're mixing. So four parts permanent green light to four, three parts French ultramarine to two parts burnt sienna, or you could use for a less, um, I like this mix here, uh, four parts permanent green light, three parts French ultramarine, two parts Windsor red. And I think that would be a nice mix it, because um, I think the burnt sienna would be too granulating for what I want to do. So that's a great option. But if I want even more, I mean, look how many options it gives me. It's just amazing. And you could try all these options in real life and see which one looks the best to you. For To me, that it would come down to which one looks the most transparent. Permanent green light with French ultramarine and pyrrole orange is another way to do it. French ultramarine, green gold, and permanent green light. I mean, it gives you so many different options. Permanent green light, French ultramarine, and opera. Love that. One thing I just want to remind you is not only does it show you the colors and different combinations of colors you enter, it gives you the ratio. So that helps you get the exact right mix, which is really nice. All right. So that is the color picker capability of this app. But wait, there's way more. <laughs> All right. Another thing that is really cool about this app that I just realized this morning and Eugene didn't even point this out to me, but for beginners, I think this is really useful. This app will even tell you what water concentration you need to mix with your watercolors. Do you need one part water to one part paint? Do you need three parts water to one part paint? So this app will help you see how light the color is and how much water you need to add to your paint. Game changer, love that. Another thing that I found useful for this more advanced painting project was the water. How in the heck do you paint all that water? I do not do photorealism. That is not the style that I'm after. I like to paint more impressionistically. When you paint impressionistically, you've got to simplify the reference photo. For example, in this photo, the water is, and the ripples, all the ripples in the water is very complicated. And it's hard as an artist to wrap my head around how to simplify this water, but have it to still read water and still have some complexity, but not so much complexity that's in the reference photo. So once again, this artist app solves that problem. It has this um, capability of doing the squinting for you. Some artists figure out how to simplify their paintings, they'll squint at their picture and it helps blur similarly colored or similar valued areas together to make simpler, larger shapes, which is key to painting loose and impressionistic because you have to simplify a lot. And so this app does that for you. No more squinting for you. <laughs> you can just use this app to simplify your composition and it really helped a lot. So let's take a look at this feature where you can simplify your reference photo so you can better wrap your head around how to paint it in a more impressionistic and simple way. It has several different settings. You can go from small detail. So here it is a little less detailed. Click on medium and it takes out even more detail. And then you can click on large and that takes out even more detail. And that helped me really see the basic shapes of the patterns in the water. And I also relied on this screen 
right here a lot to help me paint the patterns, just the basic simplified patterns of, of in the water. So again, let's look at this one more time. So this is what it looks like when the app simplifies this image, but look how much more complex it is when you just look at the straight image, the photograph. Do you wanna paint all that detail or do you wanna paint that version? Personally, to me, this is a lot easier to wrap my head around. And of course, with my artist head, I simplified it even more. But this was a, this provided me with a great jumping off point. You can just put, I would say, at least one of each primary in and then maybe an earth pigment like Burnt Sienna. And you put a more limited palette into this app and it will show you how to paint with a more limited palette. When you paint with a limited palette, you will have a more cohesive color design to your painting and it won't be overwhelming with too many colors dazzling your viewer's eye and looking too busy color wise. So that's another thing that this app does. You can put in a limited palette and it will show you what your painting will look like if you paint with a limited palette, let me show you what I mean. Now let's switch back to the limited palette um, choice and see if it gives us a better limited palette look. Curious to see what this app will. Okay. All right. Now this is neat. This is neat because this is what I was talking about in one of my recent videos about how Alex Powers was saying, take your reference and don't use local color. He said, use a limited palette and use your artist mind to come up with a limited palette to make the painting more cohesive. So when you do have a lot of crazy color in your painting, and to me, this painting, this reference actually has mostly blue and orange to my mind, and it's pretty simple. But what if you have what if you have a reference that has too much color in it that's too competing and you need to simplify the color scheme to maybe a triad of colors um, or just two colors and you can't visualize it? Well, this would help you visualize it. So I just put in two colors and now this makes it a lot easier to see what it would look like if I just used two colors. And then it would make it easier to imagine what it would look like if I added back in maybe one more color. Let, let's say the orange. Let's preview that. All right, so that's really nice, actually. I like that because it just shows the grays and the blues and the pops of orange in her hair and in her skin. So that really gives me some ideas. What if we took out the black. So you could just toy around with this app for, oh, that's cool. You can really toy around with this app a lot and it can really help you visualize where you want to go with a complicated painting and help you simplify it on many levels. This will help you expand your ideas, expand on your ideas for what colors to use to mix, especially shadow colors. I really like that. A while ago, before I knew about Artist Assist app, I wanted to learn about new apps that, that I might highlight for you all here on my YouTube channel. So I asked my community on, by the way, my free Facebook group, if you want to join my art community where we learn from each other, we upload our paintings and get advice or just get support. And it's a great community. It's free. So I will put a link here if you would like to join my Facebook group. But I asked my community on my Facebook group what their favorite app, what their favorite technology was to help them in their painting journey. And a lot of them talked about apps that help you see the values in your reference photo so you can paint them more accurately in your painting. Because as you get to understand painting, you're going to understand how important values are. Values are, I would say, at least five times more important than getting your color right. If you get your values right in your painting, you can use a lot of different colors and it will still look realistic. So what this app will do, especially this is so cool for beginners, it will break down the values in your reference photo and show you here are all the light values, here are all the medium values, here are all the dark values. And for you beginners out there, the way that you paint watercolor is you paint around your lights. So anything that's white, you paint around that. 
Then the next layer that you do is paint all your lights. And then in general, the next step of a painting for watercolor is paint all your medium values and then all your dark values. But how do you figure all that out? Well, this app does it for you. I wish I had this when I was a beginner. It would have made things so much more easy. Let's take a look at how this app works for this functionality. So if you want to know what to paint first, you paint all these light tones. So here's all the light tones in this picture. If I was using this to start my underpainting, this is where I would do all my underpainting in all these white areas. That is going to be either a very pale tea consistency wash over these white areas or leave these areas perfectly white and dry. Um, those will be the white of the paper and you will need to paint around these areas. And I did this a lot while I was painting this girl. I had this screen here pulled up to help me remember because I forget all the time where to be careful and paint around my lights, uh, my super lights. And this really helps me see where the super lights are in the water and see the pattern and also on her forehead, her, her right, our left cheek, and of course her arms and the stairs. So this is a great way to get your head wrapped around what to paint as your underpainting. The next thing you're going to paint is the midtones. These are the medium values that you would paint with milk consistency. So this is like giving you a roadmap of what to paint first, second, and third. So the second thing after your first layer of the lights has dried is these medium tones. And then at the very end, you're going to paint your darkest darks. And here's where the darkest darks are. This really helps you study your value map and see how to paint the last darkest darks. So this was very helpful to me in figuring out how to paint this painting. All right, another thing that this app does that I wanna highlight is it will put a grid on your reference photo. You can choose how big or small your grid squares are. For more detailed paintings, you might wanna use smaller squares. For less detailed painting that is easier to draw, you might just want larger squares for your grid. But you go to the grid functionality, and let's take a look at this. I've used Photoshop for years, but not everybody has Photoshop. And it can be hard to do a line drawing without Photoshop or some other technology to do a line drawing. So what if you don't have that? What if you want to get an accurate line drawing, but you still want to hand draw it? Well, you can use the grid system and you can make the grid system as complicated or uncomplicated as you want. So you can use large squares like this, this has four cells down the height of it, or you can do six, and here the squares are even smaller. So for me, I was going to go with the six, and that gives me enough detail that I can look at each square and see what I need to put in each square and where. So what you would do is you would see this grid in the app, and then you would draw these same squares, this grid, six equal squares down the height and then however many squares across your image to make it match this image that the app is giving you. It, it makes it a lot easier to see how to draw each square and this will help you really get your proportions right. So you draw what is in each square corresponding to the app. So you find the square on your real painting. And I would recommend doing a drawing on um, not your watercolor paper or whatever your main, your canvas or whatever. First, you do it on just drawing paper and put your grid on that because if you need to erase a lot, it's going to damage your surface most likely. So draw your grid on a piece of paper that's the same size as your final painting. Put the grid on that matches the grid here in the app, and then you can draw in each square and that will at least give you much better proportions than if you would have just freehand drawn it. So if you use the grid system and there's a lot of great tutorials online about how to um, do an initial drawing using a grid system for those of you who are purists who like to do a hand drawing. I personally don't do an initial hand drawing. I do a tracing in Photoshop to get my initial proportions in and then 
I do rely on my my drawing skills a lot as that drawing gets covered up. You still have to rely on your drawing skills, but if you don't have that capability, using a grid system like this is the next best thing. Thank you so much to Eugene, who is developing artist assist app. He also had Learon. If you haven't seen Learon's YouTube channel, Learon also just did a video a while back on this app. So I went into the comments section to see what people were saying about the app, the app and how they were liking it and a lot of positivity from users who have been trying this app out. They really have said that it's solved a lot of problems for them. One thing you'll notice if you go to Learon's vi video about this same app, you'll see that Eugene, who is developing this app, answers all the questions. So Eugene on this app is very much interested in hearing from you all. What can he do? To, what can he do to improve this app? What do you like? What needs fixing? He's really receptive and he's already fixed a lot of things in this app in response to the comments on Liron's video. So it's really, a, it's gonna be a great experience for you all around. All right, I think that's everything almost everything the app can do. There is a lot to this app. So I just encourage you to navigate to the website, artistassistapp.com, play around and poke around and see what it can do. And I can't wait to hear from you all in the comments, what you think of this app and also what are your questions or concerns? Because based on looking at Liron's comments, Eugene will come and answer your questions. <laughs> and of course I answer all my comments as well. So I'd love to hear what you think in the comments and what your experience is and what are your concerns. And we would love to hear from you there. Be sure to subscribe because I'm gonna continue in the similar vein that I've been on of not just watercolor painting, but a lot of how to paint, how to design your paintings, how to be an artist. This channel is gonna focus more on those things, but there will always be a backdrop of watercolor painting because my Patreon is all watercolor tutorials. And by the way, I'd love for you to join me over on Patreon. You can follow me for free on Patreon, and that's a good way to stay up to date with all the paintings and tutorials and things that I'll be offering. I also upload all my free videos there, so you'll see whenever I do a new free video here on YouTube, you will also get a notification through Patreon. Be sure to check out my community tab because I post there quite a bit. And a really good way to keep in touch with me is through my Facebook community. And I would love to see you there. I'd love to see your art and get to know you a little bit better. We really have a fun time over there. So I hope you'll join my free Facebook group, Rachel's Watercolor Workshop. And I'll put a link to all that here. I'll put links in the comments and I will put links at the end of this video. And Stay tuned because I have a lot of really fun content. I just learned a new technique that I'm really excited to share. I now use this new technique in every single painting I do, and I'm gonna be doing a video about that soon. I also am hoping to do a video about a, a new color combination, two color combination that just using these two colors, you can get so many other colors. And I'm going to look at Ali Kavanaugh's palette hopefully soon. There's so much I want to do and so little time, but I hope you will join me on my journey because it's a fun one and I'm learning and passing on my, what I'm learning on to you. So I hope you'll join me and I appreciate you so much. Thank you to all of you who like, comment, subscribe, support me on Patreon, come get to know me better on Facebook. On this channel, we talk a lot about not just the how, but the why of painting. So you move along your creative journey a lot faster. Now go watercolor your world. Bye everybody.